Hi folks, Pidgey is 88 we are back and we are on the final chapter, at least of book one, of High School Story. So this is going to be the final episode of Choices for quite a while. We did the entire series uh, pretty much, so I, I think it's a good good way to take a little bit of a break. We're not done with Choices the entire game. I've, we've obviously had a lot of fun in the story and of course a lot of fun in the Elementalist that we've been doing on streams. Don't forget those, by the way, twitch.tv forward slash secret agent is 88. But also... Um, you know, it's good to branch out, look at some other games, of course, but for now, let's not hesitate any longer. Let's finish this up. Chapter 15 of 15. Was well, surprise intruder ruined the homecoming dance? He's already done it. Thanks, Brian. God, will ruin everything. All on the first day. Chapter 15, the be beginning of... No, no, no. <laughs> this is the end. <laughs> it's a silly game. All mixed up. Uh-huh. Why are you here? What do you think? You know I heard what Zoe said to you after the game. So what? Whatever drama's going on between the two of you now, it's got nothing to do with me. Just shut up for a second. That's something I won't say. Before I take this up, I only realize a hush has fallen over the crowd. Fine. Then go ahead and say it. I wanted to say... I'm sorry. What? Come on, dude. Don't believe we say it again. You know how much I hate the S word. Ugh. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Seriously, bro. I realized what I did you was wrong. I violated the bro code. <laughs> That's what you think this is about? It isn't it? That's basically the worst apology I've ever heard. Tell me turns back and Brian starts walking away. Wait. I can do better. Listen. It's pretty hard when everyone likes your best friend better than you. My life, I acted like I was the coolest kid at school, but I knew the truth. I was practically your sidekick. And when I became quarterback, I was, it was finally different. I actually was the coolest guy around. I got to throw the best parties and have any girl I wanted. Including Zoe. Not only did I want to be with Zoe, but it also made me feel like I was finally better than you. I'm like, I'm out turned out. I guess we both got our hearts broken in the end. And it's all my fault. I don't know what I want to say. I don't like Brian, but... It takes courage to admit you're wrong. Mm, I don't want to give him credit. Like, this is a situation where I, if nothing was an option, I would be picking it. The apology was weak. <sighs> Both of these are bad options, in my opinion, at least. So... Whatever, I'll be the nice guy. Kina's right. Coming here today, it's probably the bravest thing I've seen you do. Forgive you. Ah, oh, don't forgive him. You think that's the bravest thing I've ever done? I'll have to think about that. But I'm glad you forgave me. Caleb forgave Ryan. Maybe I'm just too happy tonight to hold onto a grudge. Ooh, we're bros again. It's awesome. I can't wait to tell you about all the hotties I heard that go. Mm hmm. <clears throat> hold on. I said I forgive you, not that we're friends again. It's too late for that now. You and I are done. Think you'll ever change your mind? Probably not. That sucks. I guess for tonight, I'll just have to settle knowing you don't hate me anymore. Caleb extends his arm, Brian takes it, and two shake hands. Fair enough. I can I can take that. Good luck at Hurst. Yes, then Maria marches to the center of the crowd, followed by Principal Hughes and Vice Principal Isa. He's over here, Principal Hughes. Oh boy. Oh dear, her student out at the dance. What should we do? Maybe a timeout would be best. <laughs> We're at what we call the cops and report him for criminal trespassing. I'm not sure this is really a police matter. Fine, do it your way. Just don't blame me when this entire school ends up descending into anarchy. So it spins on a heel and strides away. As for you, young man, please go. You've caused quite a few hurt feelings here. Actually, I'm feeling kind of nostalgic. Maybe I'll stick around and do some dancing. I am single now. Okay, ladies, who wants to get up on this? Mr. Crandall, since you were neither a Brary student nor an official guest of Brary student, I must ask you to leave at once. Oh yeah? Who's gonna make me? You, Mary Poppins? I will! Oh goody, Frank the Bouncer. There you are. Frank the Bouncer? Is that a new nickname? It's a crime, I'm afraid, but that's a certain ring to it. I, uh... <laughs> Brian bolts the door without another word. Frank? That's amazing. Frank does a small bow. 
Okay, everyone, back to your sock off. Frank and I will make sure there are any more scary boys intruding. Weird. Okay. New song starts playing, people gradually start dancing again. You join Emma at the side of the dance floor. Now, even though he treated me like dirt, I kind of feel sorry for Brian. Me too. Whatever. I'm just agreeing with Emma at this point. <laughs> Being selfish and jealous all the time seems like it would be really miserable. Yeah. I hope he's learned his lesson. There's Ross. Attention, everyone! The votes have been tallied. It's time to announce the winners for Homecoming Queen Queen. Look, here's the deal. If it's not me and Emma, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> like, I don't care about me. Queen better be Emma, alright? And several other students gather in front of the stage to listen. Here's Homecoming King and Queen are. Drum roll, please. Crowd drums. Okay. <sighs> Kian and Mia. Stage and Maria faces crowns on each of your heads. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Congratulations, you both. Is there anything you'd like to say to your classmates? Nope. Thanks, broken leg of two noise was nightmare. The sport you've all shown me is me. Made it so much more bearable. Especially like to thank my fellow cheerleaders. I know how push you are, but it's the only because I know you're capable of. Let's kick butt this winner. Everyone cheers. Thank you, Mia. Ian, the mic is yours. Wow, thank you. This really is an honor. My first transfer to Bear High, I knew it was a right, right away a special place. Didn't think I was going to like it. Thought you were all a bunch of weirdos. I knew right away it was a special place. The students cared about each other, and everyone got a chance to be their best. Day. I can see just how right the first impression was. I can go to a thousand schools, but I doubt I'd ever find one with a heart like Oliver and Barry High. Thank you, Tigers. This Tigers is so weird. Okay, applause. Now it's time for the commemoration dance. Well, members of Homecoming Board, please find a partner to come to the center of the dance floor. You find Emma waiting for you at the bottom of the stage steps. I can't believe it. You won Homecoming King. What? You didn't believe in me? Uh, no, it's not that. It's just, you take Emma's hand. I know what you meant, Emma. Now, may I have this dance? Aw, oh, here we go. Take her arm and lead her to the middle of the dance floor where the other court members are assembling. I promise if my leg starts to hurt, I'll let you know and we can stop dancing. Sydney kisses me on. You'll totally be healed, Corey. You. You'll be totally healed. Julian looks around and certainly. Wanna dance, Julian? Are you sure? What about it's over west and shrugs. My friend Julian, it's only one dance. Wow, this song is really slow. That was horrible. <clears throat> you like it? Of course I do, it's just never slow danced before. Don't worry, it's like dancing, but slow. <laughs> it's like dancing, but slow remote for the robot? <laughs> Just follow my lead. I don't know why my room is wasting pillar close. What am I supposed to do with my hands? One on my shoulder and the other hand with the other. Like this? Perfect. You lead her carefully around the dance floor, swing slightly in time with the music. I'm gonna stiffen your arms at first, but little by little she relaxes. Wanna try a spin? No, thank you. It's easy, I promise. It's not that I don't think I could. I mean, what was even close to you? Your face is not barely inches apart. I just don't want to have to let go for you for even a second. Aww. What do I do, Kisa? Dude, we went all the way. Go for it. You tilt your head at the same moment Emma does, and you lips meet in a small, sweet kiss. Emma pulls her after a second and looks up at you, beaming. You feel her chest flutter. I was hoping that would happen tonight. Hey, at last. Been in your mind for a while then? Longer than I probably should probably be. Is that weird? 
If it is, then I'm guilty, just as guilty as you. She has you men more earnestly this time, and neither of you pull away until the song begins to fade. Couples in the center of the dance floor start to part, and you hear your friends calling from you from the other side of the gym. Hey, Keen, congrats! You're at least the second most popular kid in school. I don't care about popularity. I can go, how to go talk to him. Give them one last quick kiss. Okay, you got your action, dude. Chill. We'll get back to this later. <laughs> All right. You and Emma join the friends inside the dance floor. As the man of the hour, congratulations, Kian. I called it. Don't forget that I called it. I think we all called it. Let's be able to be the coolest kid in school. One at a time, people. Let's not overwhelm them. Don't worry, Marie. I've got this. Honestly, can't believe it. I saw this coming. This crowd is so shiny! <laughs> I have to. <laughs> you shake your head a little flexible light dance around you. <laughs> That's the last thing somebody who's getting electrocuted would say. <laughs> Looks like the 99 cents of paper of plastic crowd was money well spent. <laughs> Big cheers! Hip hip hooray! <laughs> These are the next few hours dance with almost everyone you know. You see him look on Brian's face? Priceless, I tell you, priceless. You're pretty terrifying, Frank. Only when I need to be. I'd much rather play a hug of war than tug of war. Aw, oh, that's, that's good. It's so sad that we only get one year for choosing to cheerlead together. The squad won't be the same after you graduate, Peyton. At least we've still got the whole winter season. Ooh, and spring too. Try it out, right? We'll see. The next update for the... Um... I don't know, Louie. I think I'll leave this sort of thing to the experts. I'll, I admit there's a steep learning curve, but if you ever want to give it a try, I'll know exactly who to ask. <laughs> I was looking through all the yearbook photos we've got so far, and wow, you really, you are really photogenic. Does this mean there will be a bunch of photos of me in the final book? No promises, but you can expect at least five or six. Okay, you know how many entrants I did? Six so far, but I think I'm going to try teaching myself the theremin over a winter break. Did I pronounce that right? Probably. That's what's a theremin? It's an electronic instrument that's mostly used in avant-garde pieces. I don't know. Instrument. Late in the evening, you lean against the gym's wall, watching the various couples slow dance together. Emma Siddles? I think that was supposed to say it's a slide, but Siddles up to you and hugs your arm. Hey Emma, you enjoying yourself so far? It's beyond what I imagined, but I think I'm ready for a bit of quiet. Wanna go home? No, not yet. I was actually thinking about going for a walk outside to get away for a bit. It's a really nice night out. I was hoping you might want to join me. Emma grins from ear to ear and looks up to you with her dark brown eyes. Emma, I, like I'd say no! Haha, <laughs> 69. <laughs> like I'd say no. Great, follow me. This is the spot I really want to show you. Emma leads you to a secluded spot in the park. The two of you lay flat on your backs and look up at the stars. Oh, I think I remember this. You know, this brings back memories of Brian's pool party. Yeah, it does. They've become full circle now. So many things have changed since then. Wrap an arm around Emma, holding her close. She snuggles up to you. Her warm breath against her neck sends shivers down your spine. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a l like a couple inches away, dude. I love how comfortable you are to be around. Okay, then never mind. You're telling me I don't think I'll ever want to leave. But I just don't get how I've come this far. What do you mean? I've had crushes on before on guys and girls, but none of them have actually liked me back. Finally having it work out with you is weird. So the kids were missing out? I'm on the same boat. <laughs> hmm. The kids were missing out. I bet they were rip breaking your heart. Maybe, but I guess they did me a favor. If I hadn't had to get over them, I wouldn't have figured out I liked you. When you put it that way, I guess I'm glad to. <laughs> Does this mean you're actually as excited about kissing me as I am about kissing you? I think I'm really looking forward to kissing you again. Just do it right. Okay, good, because... I have said something off when case that she fights her lip as the dim moonlight dances across her face. She slowly leans in and brushes her lips against yours, hesitant at first, but each kiss more eager than the last. Not so shy all of a sudden. 
Sorry, guess I'm just excited. Holy crap, this is amazing. You think that's magical? How about this? Pull Eva close to you once more and kiss her even more passionately. You can feel her heart flutter beneath your chest, almost beating as fast as your own. Okay, this is gonna get, like, non-PG very quick. Your fingers trailed on her back and she, as she shivers at your touch. How oh, can I never knew this could be so much fun. I mean, I imagine from TV shows and movies and novels, but you're amazing at this. If you keep this up, I may never want to stop. I can live with that. <laughs> Going to class, just want to spend the rest of my life right here. Kissing you, how about that? And the giggles and plants are a light, delicate kiss. And... Oh, plant, okay. <laughs> Such a bad influence, but I like it. But no serious, Emma. Do you want to stop? Not yet. Pounces on top of you and kisses you again and again. Each kiss is filled with more of a... Oh, God. <laughs> what, what have I done wrong? Press your hand against her back, holding her close to you. Yeah. That was creepy. Yeah. <laughs> As your fingers through your hair, she plants light covered kisses along your jawline. Emma? <laughs> you shut your eyes to save her each sensation and surrender fully to the moment. You, Emma, shared a moment. That's it. Oh, okay. Later that evening. Where have you been? Everyone's been looking for you. You know, I'm gonna exchange a look. Oh, oh, I see. I don't think it took any guesses. Come on, everyone's over here. We're here. Sorry for holding up the show. No problem. Says you. Dance is almost over, and Autumn still hasn't gotten a picture of the roof of the yearbook. Well, we can take it now. Proud everyone. Act like you like each other. Five and Go Tigers. High school story. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. Cheers, Go Tigers. Cheers. Hello, oh, cheese. One, two, three. Cheese. Oh wow, way to cut out Emma. Okay, about to say. Oliver and Barry High School homecoming. Homecoming. I'm gonna be dance. Twelve to thirteen. I think I missed one. Congratulations, completing high school story book one. Let's take a look at your yearbook photos. So I did miss one somewhere. First day. Pool party. So one photo of Emma. <laughs> okay, she was there, so two. No, she wasn't actually. Two photos there. We go. All right. She was there, so three. <laughs> she was also there, so four. <laughs> She's counting all the moments Emma was there. She wasn't there. She was there, five, and that's also probably my favorite. Six. She was there. Seven. Eight. Nine. She was in a lot of them. That thanks. So, Mr. some of your book photos. Wonder what else might have, what else might have been. Replay the book to collect them all. So I, they want me to replay the entire book. Can I, like, skip through chapters or something? A few months later. Oh, there's more. Morning, everyone. Ken! I'm gonna wrap you in a tight hug. Hi, Ken. Shh! Everyone take your seats. Time for morning announcements. Rhea appears on the screen. She looks downcast as she clutches her script in front of her. Shh! Good morning, Barry. Hi, it's 8 a.m. on Tuesday. It's time for your Tiger announcements. After yesterday's events, this show will be taken over by our new principal, Iza. Oh. Good morning, Barry. Hi. I'm afraid to announce that Principal Hughes has resigned suddenly. The school board has elected that I take her place. Together, we'll usher in a new era of this marvelous school. Brace yourselves, because there are going to be some changes. Barry, hi. And Miss Iza's hands will become the students. And what happened to Miss Hughes? Find all, out all of this and more in High School Story Book 2. She moved to Hearst. <laughs> Final chapter of High School Story Book 1. Restart the chapter, try out the choice for standing the book. Nope. End book. We did it. We did it. I completed a book. What do I get? Do I get anything? Give me something. So I would have to restart the entire book. Okay. 
Well, there you go. High school story book one done. And I gotta say, um, th that ending there was a bit strong with Emma. Like, look, I knew we liked each other and everything, but wow. <laughs> I legitimately thought that was gonna get like non PG there for a second because I've been told that there are a couple of stories where it doesn't stay PG apparently. I'm not sure if that means with language or with actual content, but <laughs> still, that was quite a lot there. Um, but I liked it. I, I thought it was really good. And you know what? For book one, not bad. And like I said, I'm going to take a break from high school store, not from high school store, from choices for a little while. Um, I will probably come back momentarily. Um, I still plan to finish up the Elementalist uh, series because there's a couple of books there. And by the way, high school story just in itself has like what two more books i think yeah high school story book two high school story book three i think yeah so <laughs> there's still many more books and many more stories to be discovered i'm just gonna take a break from it for a little while i'd like to discover other games i like to just not have to worry too much on the good old berry high series <laughs> um so I, I want you know to hear back from you guys. What do you guys think of the story? Uh, do you want to see any different stories? Leave a comment down below on what other stories uh, I should play when I get back to choices. And also leave a comment down below with more games that I should be playing on the channel, guys. I can't, I you know I, I can't figure out. I can't read your minds. I don't know every single game that you guys want to be playing. So leave some suggestions down below. I'll try to get at some of the newer titles, some of the older titles, any of the titles I can just get to, and. With all being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe with post notifications turned on so you never miss a new video. Because like I said, we'll be back with some more choices uh, later on. With that being said, it's Pitching AC88, over and out.